some days I gaze on the tall pines mm, The pines of paradise Breathing One of the deadliest and most destructive blazes, the campfire that burned through Paradise, California in our world. Yeah, I've covered a lot of fires over the last decade, and this is the worst fire I've ever seen. It was the fastest moving fire. Paradise is the one town that was almost completely decimated Paradise by the fire. looks like everything from businesses, churches, grocery stores. I mean, there is really nothing left behind here. Um, right now we're, we're standing in the room that I grew up in and there is nothing left. There is red dirt and gravel left in place from the excavators that scooped away my home. And I am at a loss. Like thousands of others in paradise, the house that Alan Myers grew up in was burned to the ground on November 8, 2018, during the Camp Fire, the deadliest and most destructive wildfire in California's history. The fire was sparked by a faulty transmission line operated by the Pacific Gas and Electric Company, which has been diverting money away from basic infrastructure maintenance and towards higher profits and executive bonuses for years. Starting from that spark, Strong winds and dry conditions caused the campfire to grow at an unfathomable speed, eventually tearing through 150,000 acres and taking most of the town of Paradise with it in a matter of hours. Here we are at the, the driveway. Here's the front door. Um, you would have walked in here. Um, what we're seeing is a dirt pit right now. What you would have seen is uh, our dining room table. You open into the dining room table. The back was the fireplace where... Empty lots like Allen's, delineated simply by rectangles of rust-red soil native to this region, are a defining feature of Paradise's post-apocalyptic landscape. The, the home was originally built out of a, a shack. As we drove to his property on the eastern edge of town, exactly one year after the fire, we passed by the remnants of burnt-out cars, charred stumps of gray pine and western redbud, and steel mailboxes that stood silently in front of, well, nothing. Right here would be the kitchen, and it would look out onto this beautiful water maple, big leaf water maple. My dad first moved here, the owners of it, thinking that they wanted things cut down, wanted more space, they cut down this beautiful maple. And my dad, with great care, stewarded one of the volunteer shoots and stump cultured it into a beautiful tree that shaded this back deck that he also built by hand. So these windows from the kitchen looking out onto that tree that would be full of birds and bird feeders and, and now it's a bird stump. And what gives us such hope is that you see this burnt stump and you see maybe a hundred volunteer shoots that are about four feet tall at max height and we're going to steward one of those shoots into a beautiful maple once again. That was just a taste. To listen to the full episode, please visit theresponsepodcast.org or find The Response wherever you get your podcasts.